When Ricky Henderson came into the league in his first full season, he stole 100 bases. In uh, 1983, he became the first ball player in Major League history to steal over 100 bases in three separate seasons. In his third year in the league, he broke Lou Brock's single season stolen base record. Ricky Henderson was a 10 time All Star and the 1990 American League's most valuable player. Many consider him to be the greatest leadoff hitter of all time, and as his critics would tell you, he would be the first to tell you all about these achievements. Today, Ricky Henderson and his Oakland Athletics will take on the Baltimore Orioles at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore in game number 11 of the 1984 single elimination tournament. Here's today's starting lineups. For the Oakland A's, Ricky Henderson will lead off play center field. Bruce Bochte is at first base. Carney Lansford at third base. Dwayne Murphy in center field. Dave Kingman's the DH. Tony Phillips at second base. Mike Keith, the catcher. Mike Davis in right field. Joe Morgan's the second baseman. And Kurt Young, left-hander, is on the mound. 17-9 with a 4.06 ERA. 2-6 through six PB number. For the Baltimore Orioles, Al Burnley will lead off and play center field. Rich Dower is at second base. Cal Ripken Jr. is at shortstop. Eddie Murray at first base. Mike Young in right field. Wayne Gross, third base. John Lawrence is at DH. Gary Reneke in left field. Rick Dempsey is his catcher. And Mike Boddicker, the right-hander, is on the mound. 2.79, 20-game winner with a 2-7 PB number. This is Apple Baseball Classics, where yesterday's stars performed through cards and dice. Classic games on our tabletops. Baltimore is the eighth seeded team in the tournament, and the Athletics get here by beating the Los Angeles Dodgers 8-4 to four in the first round. Oakland will bat first. I'm going to roll the dice separately. I had some mistakes in yesterday's game that I posted. And so when you're reading all these together, there's three things going on and I made some mistakes. So if I do it separately, hopefully I'll do it better. Remember the white dice, if it's zero, uh, it goes to a possible BD or clutch defense or Z chart check. I had quite a few of those yesterday. Sometimes we don't have very many. But here we go. Ricky Anderson steps under the box. Dangerous leadoff hitter. Here's the first pitch of the game. 11 is going to be off of the batter card. And 74 is a an out. RP is a ground ball to second base. Rich Dower gathers it and throws the first. Uh, what, there's an E3 on that play. So Dower is an E2. He makes the play safely, just barely. One down. There's Bruce Bakhti, who is a longtime Seattle Mariner. This goes off the batter card. And 25 is going to be a drive into the gap between Renicki and Bumbry, the center field, for a leap for a double for Bruce Bakhti. The A's have a man in scoring position with one down. And we'll take one off Mike Bartikers SR rating. There is Carney Lansford, 300 hitter in 1984. Bartiker into the stretch. Here's the pitch. Six off his card. And 63 is going to be an out, right normal. Line drive to third base, caught by Wayne Gross. That's two down. It'll be up to Dwayne Murphy to get this first run home. And I just dropped the dice. Here's a stretch in the pitch from Boddicker. Off his card. 2-6 off the pitcher card is a swing and a miss, strike three. Three outs. 
And Bruce Bakhti is stranded at second base. We go to the top of the bottom of the first. No score with the Orioles coming to bat. Kurt Young completes his warm-up tosses, and the speedy Al Bumbry steps into the box for Baltimore. Young is at two through six. This will be off Bumbry's card. 45 is hit on the ground to Carney Lansford at third, who scoops and throws across the diamond. No error. One down. Here's Rich Dower, who at one time was a base coach for the Royals. Eight off of Dower's card. And 82 is going to be an out. RN is a line drive to the first baseman. Bruce Bakhti makes the catch. Two outs. Cal Ripken Jr. There's probably no player in baseball that affected my life more than him. He was an inspiration for me, and for five years I went to work every day. Um, didn't have, it, my job was kind of an athletic job, uh, working in an auto plant, building cars. For the first eight years of my career, then I spent the last 12 years doing repairs and fixing other people's mistakes. But um, you know, for five years, I tried to show up every day, and I was able to do that. Uh, the only, I think the difficult time was I broke, broke a toe one time, still went in the work, um, stopped the line because I wasn't sure how that was going to go, all the walking I needed to do. And I accidentally stopped the line telling the supervisor I broke the toe because the line stop I got cast out uh, normal for the day. Here is Cal Ripken, eight off of his card. Zero might be a uh, Z chart. There's nobody on base. Three, it would be a BD check, so nobody on base. We'll go with the 43. It's a swing and a miss for a strike three. Orioles are up one, two, or down one, two, three. Go to the second, nothing, nothing. All right, King Kong Dave Kingman leads off for the Oakland Athletics. We've had a lot of readings off here as cards so far. Not a lot of action though. Forty-three is a swing and a miss for a strikeout for Kingman. Second strikeout for Boddicker. One away. Tony Phillips. Again, off the batter's card. And 75, switch hitter is SN, line drive to third base. Caught by Wayne Gross. Two outs. Mike Heath, the catcher. Seven, that's off Boddicker's card. And 54 will close out the side. RN, ground ball to the first baseman, Eddie Murray, air check, no air, we got three under assistant, we go to the bottom of the second inning, nothing, nothing. Bottom of the second will give us uh, Murray, Young, and Gross for the Orioles. Here's Kurt Young's pitch to Eddie Murray, this will be off the pitch card. And 25, that's Almost later, that's close enough for me. 25 is going to be a base hit to right field for Eddie Murray. First hit for the Orioles. Pretty fast runner on base. He's a C stealer, probably not going anywhere. That just wasn't the Orioles style of play. But here's Mike Young. He will be swinging away. Hit and run was... Zero, that's not good. Here's the pitch to Young, five off of the pitcher card. 57 is ground ball to first base, potential double play if he makes it cleanly, and he does. Bakhti to Phillips to Bakhti. Two down, and here is Wayne Gross, formerly of the Oakland Athletics. Four off the pitcher card. And 73 is going to be the third out of the inning. LP is a fly ball to right field. 
Mike Davis takes measure and makes the catch. Top of the third, no score. All right, right fielder Mike Davis will lead off against Mike Boniker. Here is the pitch. Nine off the Davis card. And 37 is a swing and a miss, four strike three. All right, third K chalked up by Mike Boniker. One down, Joe Morgan. Nine off the batter card. And zero, might get a uh, Z chart here. One is, base is empty, so we ignore that. 35 is going to be a base on balls. Joe Morgan takes first. Top of the order, and Ricky Henderson. Seven off Boddicker's card. And 87. Hard ground ball to Gross, a third. If he hurries, they might get two. And they do. Five to four to three. A's are swept aside in the top of the third. Uh, one more off Boddicker's SR rating for the walk. To the bottom of the third inning, nothing, nothing, the score. All right, seven, eight, nine are due up for the Orioles. John Lowenstein steps in the box against Kurt Young. 12 is off Lowenstein's card. And 48 is going to be a left normal out. Ground out to second base. Joe Morgan uh, makes the play. It's an error 8 through 10. Morgan is a 2. One down, Gary Renicky. off of the pitcher card. Zero could be a um, Z chart. Four would be a BD chart. Nobody on base, so 37 is a base on balls. Renicky goes to first. E speed for stealing, so not a threat there. Here's the catcher, Rick Dempsey. Good burner, but there's already out and, um, oh, we were hated bunning, so we won't bunt. Eight off of the batter card, and 72. RP is a fly ball to dead center field straight away. And right there on the spot is Wayne Murphy to make the catch. Gary Renicky at first base holds his base and go to the top of the order with two outs. Al Bumbry comes to bat. Ten off the batter card. Uh, this could be a BD clutch de a defense or Z chart. Six is clutch defense. We'll see who the def defense focus on the left fielder. That's Ricky in left field. CD3. Highest our column goes is CD2, so we'll use the CD2. Uh, 48 is line out to the fielder. And if there was not two outs, it would be a double play. That ends the third inning. We go to the top of the fourth. Oakland nothing and Baltimore nothing. In the fourth inning, we'll have Bruce Blackie, Carney Lansford, and Wayne Murphy for Oakland. Pitchers duel so far. This goes off the batter's card. And 31 is going to be... Line drive down the line and into the corner. Bruce Blackty will round first and go to second with his second double of the game. Take one off the SR rating for Boddicker. And the A's in a pitching duel have a runner at second base. Carney Lansford is a CC bunner that's below average two on hit and run. 
Don't want to try to hit and run with runner on second, though. That's kind of risky. 300 hitter. We're going to hold a second, see if they can knock the run in. Here's the pitch from Bodyker to Carney Lansford off the pitcher's card. 54 is going to be an out. Right normal is a pop-up behind home plate. Rick Dempsey loses the mask, goes back a few steps, and makes the catch. One down. Non-productive out there. Here's Dwayne Murphy. Nine off of Murphy's card. Uh, Eleven. Base hit the left field. We'll see if Renicky retrieves it without air. No air. It's one down. Um, 11 through 42 would score the runner uh, if he tries to go. Uh, I don't think that's good enough odds. He's going to hold the third. First and third with one down. Orioles will play the infield back. Hope for a double play. Here's Dave Kingman. 35 homers on the year. Six is off uh, Bakhti's card. And let's re-roll that. Drop the dice. Zero is going to be nine, the Z chart. Here's a roll for the unusual play chart. 24. Rain delay, both pitchers PB lowered by one. The tarp is on the field, and you guessed it, Rick Dipsy is playing and sliding in the, in the rain. All right, the ground crews have removed the tarp. The rain has let up, and we're going to resume this game. Uh, the delay was not too long, so we're going to have, still have the same pitchers, but Mike Bartikar will be a PB2 through 6. And Oakland's pitcher is going to be a 2 through 5. They might think about changing Steve McKay gets up, and he is unlimbering in the bullpen. Dave Kingman steps into the box. We have runners at first and third. Dwayne Murphy is at first. Bruce Bakhti, who led off the inning with a double, is at third. And there is one down in the inning. Orioles are playing the infield at double play depth. Here is the pitch off the batter's card. That could be dangerous. Bakhti had, or Kingman had 35 homers. 76 is going to be in the out range. RP is a ground ball, possible double play to second base. Rich Dower to Cal Ripken over to first. It is a 4-6-3 inning inning double play. Oakland threatened but didn't score in the fourth. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. A's nothing and Orioles nothing. All right, the rain delay does burn the athletics pitcher. Oakland's going to come in with Steve McKetty, a 2 through 6 PB pitcher, 4.7 earn run average. Rich Dower, who started the double play, will lead off for the Orioles in the bottom of the fourth of the scoreless game. Um, McKetty's relief rating is 9. And now uh, Boddicker is at 13. Here's the pitch to Rich Dower, 9 off the batter's card. 52 is in the out range. RNs, a fly ball to right field, caught by Mike Davis. One down. Here's Cal Ripken Jr. Struck out first time up. Six is in McCaddy's pitch range. And 32 is going to be a swing and a miss, strike three. Cal Ripken strikes out for the second time. Two outs. All right, here's Eddie Murray. Seven off of uh, Murray's card. Six six is going to be an out. He is a switch hitter. Ground ball back to the pitcher mechanic. McCaddy fields it and throws the first. Three outs. The Orioles are retired. Top of the fifth inning, no score. All right, Mike Boddicker through four has got a shutout going. We won't have to worry about the pitcher advancement chart until we get to the seventh inning. And uh, he'll go back to 2-7 if he can continue the shutout. Here's, he's at 2-6 because of rain delay. Here's the pitch to Tony Phillips off the pitcher card. 
and 27 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Mike Bodeker has U-turned four athletics hitters back to the dugout by way of strikeout. Here is Mike Heath, the catcher. 10 off Mike Heath's card. And 16 is going to be a single to center field. D speed, he's not going to be stealing. Mike Davis is the batter. One out off of Mike Davis' card. And 32 is a swing and a miss for strike three. Chance for Bonnaker to strike out the side if he can cave Joe Morgan. Morgan stands in there from the left side, right against left. Flaps that back elbow. Seven is off, uh, would have been off Boddicker's card, but now because of the rain delay, it's Morgan's card. And 13 is going to be a base hit for Joe Morgan to left field. The fielder makes the play cleanly. Hit off the batter card, sends the runner to second. But coming to the plate is Ricky Henderson. He's looking for his first hit in the tournament. He got two walks in the first game and stole a base, but has yet to get a hit. Infield's back with two outs. Here's the pitch to Ricky Henderson. Seven, again, would have been off Boddicker's card, but, but for the rain delay. Goes off the batter's card, and 21 is a single to right field. He scores, throws, goes to second. Ricky gets his first hit, and he gets an RBI. Two outs, Henderson at first. Morgan is at second, and Henderson at first. Let's try a double steal. And here is the roll. And they're going to be safe. Any rated runner steals third. Stolen base, second and third with two outs for Bruce Bakhti. A's got, got something going here. Let's see if they can get more space between them and the Orioles. Here's the pitch. Nine off of the batter card. And 6-4 is going to be a rally killer fly out to left field. Let the Oakland A's get on the board. Oakland one and Baltimore nothing. All right, as a result of Oakland's little outburst here in the last half inning, uh, Mike Boddicker's SR grade goes down to nine. Steve McCaddy, who is a nine reliever, will face Mike Young, uh, Wayne Gross, and Jack Lowenstein. Here's the pitch to Mike Young. Eight is off of the batter card. Eighteen is a base hit to left field. D speed, C on the base pass. Here is Wayne Gross, left handed power here, 22 home runs in 1984. Wayne Gross gets something off of his card. 26 is a swing and a miss for strike three. One out. He was going for a long one, didn't make connections. Here is Jack Willenstein. Four off McCaddy's card. And 23 is a base hit to right field to base advance off the pitcher's card. First and third for the Orioles. One down. Athletics will play at double play depth for Gary Renicki. 224 hitter, followed by Rick Dembski. 30 hitter. We'll pitch the Renegade. Here's the pitch. Three off the pitcher's card. Hoping for a ground ball. Uh, 84. Our, our normal is ground ball to third. Possible double play. 8 to 10 error. Uh, Lansford's to four. He completes the double play. Five, four, three. We go to the sixth. Orioles don't score. 
one to nothing athletics. Cardio Anthony will lead off the sixth inning for Oakland. Um, Boddicker is still a PB2 through six. He lost a shutout, so he's not going to get the pitcher advancement. Uh, Lancer is looking for his only his second hit in the tournament. He's one for seven. Here's a pitch for Carney Lansford. Five off Boddicker's card. And 56 is going to be an out. Our in is pop up to the first baseman. Eddie Murray is under it and makes the catch. Dwayne Murphy. Eight is off the Murphy card. And 72, ground out to shortstop. Ripken has it in the hole to throw across. It's in time, six to three, two outs. Dave Kingman, who has struck out and rolled into a double play. Not a banner day for Dave Kingman. This is off the batter card. And 43 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Three up and three down for the Athletics. We go to the bottom of the six. Oakland one, Baltimore zero. Rick Dempsey leads off for the Orioles. Six is off Steve McCaddy's pitch card. And 25 is a base hit to right field for Rick Dempsey. Here's Al Bumbry. Dempsey represents a potential tying run. Bumbry's going to swing away. Three off of the pitcher card. And 67. Left normal. Ground ball shortstop A. G6A. First of all, the air check. No air. Runner advances to second on the ground out. Here's Rich Dower. Dower is 0 for 2. 12 off the batter card. And 36 is an out. R in. G4A. That's going to be ground out to second. No error. Dempsey makes it to third. Cal Ripken. Off the pitcher card. And 62 is going to close out the inning. RP ground out to third base. And Wayne Gross makes the play. Five to three. So a single by Dempsey, but three ground outs. Orioles are brushed aside in the sixth inning. We go to the top of the seventh. Oakland one, Baltimore nothing. Tony Phillips will lead off the top of the seventh for the Oakland A's. He hated being called a utility man, but... Uh, he played all over the field and was a very versatile player. In fact, 1989, when the Athletics won the World Championship, he played every position on the diamond except pitcher and catcher. Mike Boddicker is still on. He's still fresh as a daisy. He's got nine left in his pitch rating. Here's the pitch to Tony Phillips. Two through six off Boddicker's card. And 41 is going to be a wild pitch. Nobody's on base. Get another PP number. 77 is going to be off Phillips' card because I can remember the lost one during the rain delay. And 24 is a base hit the right field for Tony Phillips, leadoff single. Catcher Mike Heath is the batter. Uh, it's like having a leadoff hitter on first. Tony Phillips oftentimes was a leadoff hitter. Not ahead of Ricky Henderson, though. Uh, he's going to hold, and they're going to play it straight up. Here's the pitch to Heath off the batter card. And 58 are in. Ground ball, possible double play at shortstop. No error. It is a twin killing, 6-4-3. And just like that, suddenly there's two outs in the seventh. Mike Davis. Uh, so we get SR8 on Boddicker now. Six is off Boddicker's card. And 74 will close out the inning if the play is made. Left normal. 
fly off the center field, no air check. We go to the seventh inning stretch. Oakland A's one and the Orioles nada. All right, Eddie Murray leads off for the Orioles. He could change the score in a hurry. 29 homers in 1984. 10 off of his card. He's a 31 through 35 to go deep. It's 45. And that's a base on balls for Eddie Murray. All right, here's Mike Young. Hoping to avoid a double play. Seven off of Young's card. And 21 is going to be a drive toward center field. Dwayne Murphy can't get it. It's over his head. And it's going to be a two-base hit for Young. That's going to score Murray. Let's see if there's an error on the play. There's not. The game is tied. Mike Young drives in the Orioles' first, yep, first run. Brings the bat Wayne Gross. And I dropped one on the floor. We'll do a re-roll. I drop it on the floor. Five off McCaddy's card. And 86. That's not going to take us to the variable chart. 87 or 88 does that. It's going to be a left power out. Ground ball to second base. No air. Mike Young advances to third. Just one out, and the A's will play the infield in. Infield in for the Athletics. Here's a pitch to John Lowenstein. Seven off his card. And 53 is left normal out. Round out to first base. No air. That play could take us to the defensive option chart, but they're going to hold the runner. So, just an out, and runner stays at third. For that play, three unassisted. And that brings up Gary Renicki. Now two outs, the infield will play back. McKinney into the stretch. Here's the pitch. Nine off the batter card. And 34 is a base on balls. Now first and third. Two left on McKinney's relief ready. Here he is Rick Dempsey. Eight off the Dempsey card. And 24 is a drive by Rick Dempsey. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. A three-run home run for Rick Dempsey. Changes this game. Four runs home in the inning. Baltimore four and Oakland three. Or, excuse me, one. Well, Earl Weaver got his three-run homer. Is he carefully never sacrificed or hit and run? Uh, hit and ran, I guess we would say. Here is Al Bumbry, bases clear. And so is Steve McCaddy as his SR rating is used up. Steve McCaddy goes three and two-thirds. He gives up four runs and gives way to Tom Bergmeier. Left-handed pitcher, two through eight PB, 2.3 ERA. And uh, Al Bumbry steps into the box for Oakland in a brand-new ball game. Here's the pitch to Bumbry. Off McBurgmeyer's card. Uh, let's look for the unusual play chart. It's not, the bases are clear, so 48 is a left normal out. Ground ball back to Bergmeyer, who makes the play. That in the, the inning, but uh, damage is done. Baltimore 4, Oakland 1, we go to the top of the 8th. Joe Morgan leads off the eighth inning for the A's. They're now down by three after leading for a couple innings, one to nothing. Here's the pitch to Joe Morgan. Seven is so two through six for Boddicker, so it'll be off Morgan's card. And 12 is going to be a base hit to left field. Morgan is two for two, and he's also been on base with a walk. So a perfect day for Joe Morgan at the plate.
Here's Ricky Henderson. I think we'll get some action going in the Oriole bullpen. The left-hander is Tippy Martinez warming up and Sammy Stewart, the right-hander. Top of the order and Ricky Henderson. Ricky singled and stored a base and um, also uh, drove in a run in the fifth inning. Here's a pitch to Ricky Henderson off of his card. And let's see, 28 is a double right field for Ricky Henderson. Morgan goes to third. He'll hold there with nobody out. Let's see if there's an error on the play. There is not. Second and third, nobody out. Timeout. All right, Bruce Bakhti is the Orioles hitter. He's left-hand, so Baltimore brings in Tippy Martinez, left-hander. 3.9 ERA, 2 through 6 PB number. And they're going to play the infield back. And pitch to Bakhti. Here's the pitch. 12 off the batter card. 17 is going to be a single to... Let's see, let's check the left right variable. And it goes up to 16. So 17 is going to be a single to center field. And two runs will score. Oh, wait a minute, that's off the batter card. One run scores, first and third. No error. Ricky could try to score off of. Uh, Bummery's arm, he's a four, and he's an A runner, so 11 through 52. He'll be safe. Throw goes to second base, they're not going to try to get the out of the home and allow Bakhti to go to second. So there are two RBIs. Four to three, Baltimore. Here's Carney Lansford. Still no outs. First three A's have reached base. Six off of Tippy Martinez's card. 86 is right and normal. Pop up to the catcher. One away, non productive out. Or is still at first base. Here's Dwayne Murphy. Five off of the pitcher card. And 22 is a base hit to right field, first and third. A's are still pushing. Still only one out. Orioles are going to play double dip, play depth. Here's Dave Kingman, dangerous hitter. He is 0 for 3 today. It's been a miserable day for Kingman. They ground out double play and two strikeouts. Here's a pitch from Tippy Martinez. Seven off of King's, Kingman's card. This could be trouble. 56 is an out. RP. Fly out to center field. Base runner A or B will score from third. Bakhti's a D, so he holds. Now two outs. Still first and third. Still the A's are down by one. Tony Phillips, he is one for three on the day. Six off of the pitcher's card. And 43 is going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three, key strikeout by Tippy Martinez. Oakland scores twice in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning, close ball game. Baltimore four and Oakland three. All right, Sammy Stewart is up and throwing in the Orioles bullpen. We might see him in the ninth. Oakland has a right-left-left do-up in the ninth inning. We'll see what happens. Here's uh, Tom Bergmeier now facing Rich Dower. Bottom of the eighth, the Orioles have a one-run lead. Five off Bergmeier's card. And 34 is going to be an out. Or in, ground ball to third base. And no error. Rich Dower goes over for four today. Here is Cal Ripken. 
Rutgen's looking for his first hit in the game. Six off of Bergmeier's card. 87 with a zero. First let's check for an unusual play chart. It's got to be a 9 or 10. It's not. Base is empty. So no BD chart. 87. We got left on right. It's going to be a base hit for Kyle Rutkin on the variable chart. Eddie Murray. 12 off the batter card. And 31. It is a long drive by Eddie Murray. It could be. It is out of here, a two-run home run. And the Orioles extend their lead to 6-3. to three. Confident Oriole fans are now streaming to the parking lot, thinking their team has got it well on hand. And that's it for Tom Bergmeier. Bill Cuddle is brought on to pitch. He's PB2 through 8. And SR rating is 4. 2.7 ERA. He's pitching to Mike Young. Base is clear. Only one out. Two runs in. Here's the off of Cuddle. Or off of the previous pitcher. 9 is off the batter card. And 52 is a swing and a miss for strike three. Two outs. Wayne Gross. Ten off the batter card. Twenty-five is a swing and a miss, strike three. That was almost another homer. Two runs in, in the inning. We go to the ninth. Orioles six and the A's three. We're still in a save opportunity with a three-run difference, so we're going to bring in Sammy Stewart to try to close it out. He is a PB2 through 7. Leaf rating is 6. And let's see who's due up for the A's. Mike Heath. It's the bottom of the order. 7, 8, 9. Here's the pitch to Mike Heath from Sammy Stewart. 4 is off the pitcher card. And 6-2 are normal. Ground out to shortstop. Rickon has it. Throws the first. One away. Brings up Mike Davis. Nine off the batter card. 78. Left normal is a fly ball to right field. Mike Young is under it. Makes the catch. Just one to go. And the Orioles will advance to... Third round of the tournament. Here is Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan is two for two. He's also a walk. Here's the pitch. Nine off of his card. And 83. Morgan does not keep it alive. Left normal. Fly out to center field. Al Bunbury passes the glove and puts it away. Three up and three down. That's it. That's the ball game. Final score. Baltimore scores six runs in the final, their final two at bats. And takes the win 6-3. to three. We'll be back with a wrap-up. All right, in Game 11, the Oakland A's get three runs on 11 hits and no errors. Baltimore gets six runs on eight hits and no errors. Baltimore's power was a difference in the game. Eddie Murray had a two-run home run in the eighth. And the biggest blow was Rick Dipsy's three-run shot in the seventh inning. Pippi Martinez gets credited with the win and Stewart with the save. Steve McKenna, McKenna gets the loss. Today's MVP was the man most entertaining today, slipping and sliding across the rain delay and hitting a three-run homer, going for two for three on the day. Catcher Rick Dempsey is today's MVP. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope I didn't make too many mistakes today. You know, you're going to make mistakes when you're playing a new game. This is about the 14th time I've played this game. Uh, but hopefully I'll get better. Thanks for watching, have a good day, and may God bless.